morning guys so I'm just getting ready for my dance class with Pavan because yesterday I actually found out that today is Mahashiva Ratri it's a huge celebration here in India and um, we will be doing performance so I actually have to choose one solo piece which I will perform tonight and it's really astonishing celebration and I will take you um, to Rajpur Jagannath Mandir temple it's honestly one of the most beautiful places and one of my favorite places here in Mayapur and um, we will do a performance there as you know, <laughs> you don't know, uh, Lord Shiva is hugely celebrated and worshipped here in India. And he's actually the cosmic dancer. He's the one who brought the dance to human beings. And it has a really, really special place in the heart of each dancer. And that's why we honor him deeply. And... If you are familiar, he's also like um, when he does his final dance, his cosmic dance, uh, that's when he destroys all three worlds. So we're seeking blessings from him. But his wife, Goddess Parvati, she's bringing or Shakti, she's bringing this feminine aspect of dance and each dancer involves inside him both energies, male and female and when this is perfectly balanced like true magic happens yeah, so see you in a bit, I move to dance practice just finished my two and a half hour dance practice with Pavan and I'm prepared for tonight's program I'm also like completely dehydrated and the best way to get those fluids back to your body is this Let's see. fresh coconut there's nothing better than that mm. So good. Mm. Okay, guys. See you later. Then my makeup. I put my crown on. I got my hair. I'm almost done, and I can't believe it because it's been so long since I've done my full makeup. I think like last time it was like end of autumn, so. Doesn't even look too bad considering these are the only two mirrors I had. So this is one and this one is even broken. So yeah, it's okay. It takes it takes me like one hour to get completely ready, like to do my makeup, do my hair and uh, to put my costume on. And usually I first do all of this and costume is the last thing and now I come to the part where we put this Alta which is basically red color so in classical Indian dance we are putting it on our fingers and on our 
toes uh, because it enhances movement that we're doing with our with our hands and with our feet. And um, I'll probably gonna do another video showing you how I apply Alta. But let's just say it's just I feel costume is really incomplete without it because it happened to me once or twice that I just didn't have it or I forgot it and I kind of felt it's missing a lot. I know it can it can get messy, especially if you're wearing white costume. Something but it's just it looks so beautiful like whatever you Whatever you do with your hands, it just... Jagannath Mandir in Rajpur and just look how beautiful this is. It's so magical and so I'm actually so grateful and happy that I have opportunity to perform here on this really really auspicious day and I just couldn't ask for anything more in my life this is honestly why I do this like every sacrifice every hour of dancing every drop of sweat is just to feel for one second completely connected with something that is so much higher than you and just to completely lose perspective of yourself with no thoughts like only emotions that have nothing to do with this body with this world it's like connection with something divine one day in the life of an Odyssey dancer. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button, like, share, uh, comment. I appreciate your feedback and see you next time.